In the 1950s, my grandfather would eat a nice juicy burger at his favorite restaurant every Friday night. But when he got himself a new fancy job with long hours, he couldn't find the time to get to the restaurant anymore, which made him pretty sad. Until one day, all over the world, McDonald's popped up like mushrooms. At these places, he was quickly served without even leaving his car, which gave him the option to eat the burger wherever he wanted and lose little to no time. He lived happily ever after, until he passed away from the consequences of obesity. The end. In this analogy, the plain burgers he ate at the restaurant represent hex steaks, while the wrapped burgers from McDonald's represent hedron. Welcome to Crypto Hexplained, the easiest way to educate yourself in a ride around the blockchain. Here we try to explain crypto topics as simply as possible so everyone can understand. In this video, I'll be explaining everything you need to know about Hedron and why it is said to be beneficial for the price of HEX. If you haven't watched the previous video where I explained the HEX DAP, I recommend you do this first as you'll need the knowledge for this one. Anyway, no financial advice on this channel though. I'm just gathering the facts so my lazy friends don't have to. Hedron is a collection of smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain, and soon on Pulse Chain as well. Alex Werther built this application on top of Hex, allowing Hedron tokens to be made, or in other words, to be minted, according to any active Hex stakes, free of charge. So it actually rewards people who stake their Hex. In addition, there are other features, such as taking out a loan, and as I mentioned in the analogy, an option that makes it possible to move your hex stakes around. In this feature, your stake will be converted into an NFT, but more on that later. Hedron is a completely decentralized application. There are no admin keys to make any changes or to stop the application. In other words, there's no kill switch. So, first of all, minting Hedron is a free feature for hex stakers. The only thing they have to pay are the gas fees for signing the transactions. Anyone with active stakes can do this. Important to know, however, is that these hex stakes can be made in several ways. The first one is called native stakes. These are the stakes we already know about and are signed in the hex DAP. All the stakes you've already made or will make on go.hex.com can be used in the Hedron DAP to mint Hedron tokens. If you are a Staker app user, no worries. You can also mint Hedron, but you'll have to go through a couple of extra steps. Click on the video in the top right corner for a short step-by-step -step tutorial leading you through this. Now, secondly, we also have instanced stakes. In this case, your hex stake will be wrapped by the HSI smart contract, which stands for Hex Stake Instance Smart Contract. To do this, you'll have to sign a staking contract in the Hedron DAP, after which you'll also have to pay gas fees to mint Hedron tokens. Before I fully explain how these instanced stakes work, you should know that the number of Hedron tokens you can mint depends on the number of B shares allocated to your stake, multiplied by the number of days you have already served in that stake. A quick reminder, a thousand B shares equals one single T share. I'll clarify with an example. If you have a hex stake with 100 B shares and you've served 500 out of 5,555 days, you will be able to mint 50,000 Hedron. However, since you are given the option to mint every single day during that stake, there's one more detail to be added. Say you want to mint again on day 600. Then your 100 B shares are multiplied by those 600 days minus the 500 days for which you've already minted, ending up with an extra 10,000 Hedron. A small but extremely important detail, though, is that you have to mint the tokens before you end your stake. The hex stake has to be active, so after ending your stake, there's no more minting. 
This minting process is available for both native as well as instanced stakes. But if you're planning on using the other features in the Hedron DAP, you'll have to make an instanced stake. These instanced stakes will be deployed and managed by the HSI manager. This is another smart contract named the HSIM smart contract. The manager will interact directly with the hex DAP to create one single hex stake and wrap it into an HSI contract. While these smart contracts have their own Ethereum or Pulse chain addresses, they do not have private keys of any sort. The manager assigns full control over the HSI contract to its user, who can start the stake, end the stake, or choose good accounting. In addition, it also offers you the option to tokenize your HSI contract into an NFT token. This enables you to send the hex stake within this tokenized hex stake from one wallet to another. Next to that, it also gives you the option to sell your NFT on an NFT marketplace. This way, if the user is in a sudden need of money, for example, he doesn't need to emergency end stake and then be penalized for doing so. The recipient of this NFT, however, won't be able to mint or borrow Hedron. They won't even be able to end their stake. The only option in this tokenized state is good accounting. To get full control over the HSI and along with this, the hex stake inside, the NFT has to be detokenized. Another feature available with these instanced stakes is borrowing. Borrowing in Hedron is similar to minting, but it takes an opposite approach. Instead of only minting Hedron tokens for the days you've served within your hex stake, this feature allows you to mint all of the Hedron in advance as if you've already served the entire length of your stake. It's more like an advance rather than a loan because the user only gets the Hedron he would normally get by minting, but without having to wait. To find out how much you can borrow, just multiply the hex B shares by the total days staked minus the days you've already minted for. This feature also has its limitations, though. As long as the borrowed amount of Hedron hasn't been paid back, the hex stake is blocked. You can't end your stake, it can't be tokenized, and there's no minting your free Hedron. The only option you have is good accounting. To gain access to the other options, the advance must be repaid in full. There's quite a wide range in how you can repay this, but it's important to know the rules in order to not get in trouble. The total amount of your advance is divided into monthly repayments and has to be paid in Hedron. The size of this monthly debt is calculated by looking at the number of days you've asked for an advance for your Hedron. This part is quite mathematical. If preferred, you can skip by using the timestamps below as the Hedron DAP makes these calculations for you and it's not entirely necessary to know the math behind it. Anyway, let's continue with an example of a maximum 5,555 day stake and 100 B shares. If the request for an advance is done on day one, we can borrow 555,500 Hedron. The repayment is divided over those 5,555 days in monthly repayments, resulting in 185 full payments, and since it's not perfectly divisible by 30, we still have a surplus of 5 days for the last payment. These payments are multiplied by the number of B shares to determine how much you have to pay each month. However, few protocols offer a borrowing function without costs attached to it, and in this case, it's no different. With every payment you make, there's interest to be paid. This premium is calculated by a formula based on HEX's global APY, short for Annual Percentage Yield. For example, let's assume the APY is 40%. First of all, this APY will be divided by 2, followed by another division by the number of days in a year. Lastly, this outcome is multiplied by a 30-day term, which gives us the effective premium percentage.
If we look at the amount to be paid per installment, we can see that there's a 49.2 hedron premium to be paid for the full monthly payments and 8.2 hedron for the last five days. As you can see, the effective premium percentage stays the same for every payment even if it's a shorter term. Though you should know that you can choose to make these payments in advance as far into the future as you want. You don't have to stick to a strict monthly payment schedule. You may even choose to pay back all of your debt at once. This is called a payoff. Here the advantage is that you only pay a premium on the days that have already passed. If we use our previous example where we borrow 555,500 hedron and know that 70 days have passed, you would have already made two out of 186 payments of 3,000 hedron each plus a premium of 1.64%. If you decide to pay off your full debt at that moment, you will only have to pay another premium on the elapsed 10 days in the third term. The remaining days for that month are free of premium as are all other days left in the payment schedule. The 548,500 hedron left can be paid off without a premium. Whichever you choose, whether it's a monthly payment schedule or a one-time payoff, all of these payments in Hedron are burned by the contract. This way, the borrowers are the only ones directly benefiting from these advances. I say directly, as in the next video, you'll see that the users of the ICOSID app also benefit from this indirectly. All right, we've discussed repaying the loan, but what if the repayment is late or not paid at all? Unlike the HEX smart contract, there are no penalties, but there is a deadline. After making your last payment, you can't let 90 days go by without making a new payment. When three months pass without paying, it's a race against the clock to be faster than any other users of the Hedron protocol. They will be granted permission from the Hedron contract to liquidate the advance and claim your hex stake for themselves. This liquidation is initiated in an auction-like process. An offer equal to the amount of unpaid Hedron must be made after which other Hedron users, including the original owner of the stake, can bid in the auction. Any higher bid automatically pays back the user with the lower bid. The auction is open for 24 hours, though bidding during the last five minutes results in another five minutes being allotted. This repeats itself over and over until there's no more bidding. Just like the repayments, all earnings from these auctions are burned. This reduces the supply of Hedron, kicking down inflation caused by the minting feature. All right, let's make a small summary. The free minting feature makes Hedron an inflationary token. However, as the price of a Hex B share is only going up and becoming harder and harder to get, make it that Hedron tokens will be minted less and less, which makes it disinflationary without even mentioning all the burning and the borrowing feature. We will discuss more burning functions in the next video, so this could even make it deflationary at certain times. Who knows? This minting feature is the main reason people started using the Hedron DAP as they can receive an extra passive income on top of their already more than generous hex yield. However, it is proper food for thought to consider setting up your hex stakes via the Hedron contract from here on out as you'll never have to emergency end stake again if you're in sudden need of money. This loophole makes it easier for people to opt for longer stakes which benefits the price of hex. In addition, Hedron Advances can provide a cheap loan with tax advantages. A consultation with your accountant might be the right move before you choose this route. Some people use this feature to stake the borrowed Hedron in order to receive more yield than the monthly premium they have to pay, but more on this in the next video. The biggest question you need to ask yourself, in my opinion, is what you need the most. Do you need the Hex Smart Contract to make you hodl? Or do you want to be able to earn all that wonderful yield by using the Hedron Contract while keeping a back door open to get out whenever you want? Knowing the danger, though, 
you could sell your hex stake as an NFT in an emotional and weak moment during the many price fluctuations in the crypto world. Before making this informed decision, you should know that the founder of Hedron has built a second application on top of Hedron. This dApp, called Icosa, makes it possible to stake your Hedron amongst other things. Like and subscribe if you've learned anything, and use the comment section below if you have any questions or remarks. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.